Good morning, dear friends. It is Mother's Day today, very special day. Of course, also a day with a lot of emotions, those who are missing their mothers, those who are crying over their mothers. But in general, I think it's a day that we just want to appreciate every person who is a mother or even those who fulfill the roles of mothers in the lives of others. We want to acknowledge you. We want to affirm you this morning. We want to validate you. And we want to say we appreciate you for who you are and what you have been doing over the years and still doing even under difficult circumstances. A story that amazed me every time that I read it is the story of the slave Hagar, the slave of Sarai, the wife of, of Abram. And we know the story how God made a promise to Abram and Sarah that they would have children. And in the meantime, you know, the days are just ticking by. They are getting older, more worried, until they thought they want to um, take things, matters in their own hands because God is just taking too long. And this is where the slave, Egyptian slave, Hagar, comes into the picture. They decide that she must bear the child for Abraham. But as a soapy, the story takes a turn for the bad for Hagar, because when she's now pregnant, there's high tension in the home, which resulted in her being sent out into the desert. And this is where I want to bring in the story. This is where she meets God, the amazing God. She was running away from a mess or messiness in her life, but she ran into the hands and arms of the master. And this is sometimes that we can also witness and testify to that, that God is even there when we try to run away from our circumstances. But the amazing part of it is how she meets God in a new way. And she says, eventually, when God speaks to her, and God even commands her to go back. Now, I, I never understood why she had to go back, why God, who knew what she went through, the humiliation and, 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 and everything sent her back. But when I read that she found herself actually in such a deserted space in the desert that most probably she would not make it because it seems that she was on her way back to Egypt. She would have died in the desert. And, and, and I think there's, of course, a lot of interpretations, but I think that is why God sent her back, because God saw her and God had mercy on her and God did not want her to die a lonely death in the desert. So he sent her back, but he sent her back with a promise. And this is where she then uh, proclaims the name of the Lord, this God who revealed himself unto her. She says, we read in uh, Genesis 16 verse 13, she gave this name to the Lord who spoke to her. You are the God who sees me. For she said, I have now seen the one who sees me. Isn't this amazing? The God who sees me. I have seen the one who sees me. And later on in the story, after a son Ishmael was born, she and the child was again, they were again sent away because of jealousy from the side of Sarah. And again, God came 
and rescue them. So in, in chapter 16, she says, you are the God that sees me, the one that sees me. Later on in, um, in, in, in chapter 21, God heard the cries of Ishmael because she reached the point where she says, I don't want to see this child die. And she walked away and she left the child. And God heard the cries of this child. God made a promise. That's amazing because the covenant promise, promise was not just made to Abram. God made a covenant promise to Hagar also. But this morning, for every mother, we just want to affirm our belief in this God. A God that sees you, a God that hears your cries. This is the God that we serve. Even in a time of lockdown and loneliness, on this Mother's Day, I proclaim to you, you serve a God that sees you and a God that hears your cries. Let us continue to serve this God and let us continue to hold on to him, even though we may find ourselves in a space that feels like a desert this morning. He is there. His eye is on the sparrow and I know he watches me. And I want to conclude by again blessing you with the words of um, the priestly blessing that we find in Numbers. The Lord will bless you and keep you. The Lord will make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord will turn his face toward you and give you peace. And mother, I put the name of the Lord upon you and I bless you. Have a lovely day. Stay awesome and bless. Amen.